Hi guys, this is Elvin and Bush Bush. Today I'm showing you how to make a black forest cake. You will love it. <coughs> Yummy! To make a black forest cake, you will need two cans of red cherries, rum, whipped cream, a genoise, quite large. I explained it to you how to make it in another video. And about 50 grams of melted dark chocolate. Okay, the dark chocolate is just to do shaved chocolate. You spread it in a plate. And you just put it in the fridge. Step two, you will put about the juice and the cherry. Now, if your juice looks like mine, uh, don't worry, and you, you can leave some in your cherry is just to prepare some kirsch for your cake after you add in your pan with the juice two large spoon of rum or one or three depends your taste and depend how strong you want the taste of the alcohol in your cake and you leave it stew uh, at a low heat about five ten minutes and you shake sometimes I will need three genoises that size. So pretty easy. I will take the big one. I will put the shape I need and cutting around. I will drop uh, on the bottom of my dish a first lay. I will take that we think, which is a pencil, and I will soak my first cake lay with the kirsch. You soak it well. Huh? You spread some cherry around your cake. Looks like that for me. I will put my whipped cream in a piping bag. I will use this shape, but you actually can use the one you want. It's like that, you fill up a piping bag and you, you fold the edges against your hand and you put your spoon in there. You add on top the whipped cream. It doesn't have to be perfect because it will be hidden anyway. So, well, so once you've got that, you add another layer of cake. For the one in the middle, you can use the. It doesn't have to be perfect because it will be in the middle and you won't see anything. And you repeat the operation. You soak it with the kirsch. You add your cherries, you cover with the whipped cream, and you finally add the last layer of genoise. You soak it with the kirsch, and as it's the top of your cake, it has to be nice. You spread it everywhere, but nicely that this time. Once you've got that, it's time to hide uh, the thing you've not done very well with your shaped chocolate. So you've got that, okay, it's cold. We'll take a knife and you will shave your chocolate. And here we go, you leave it in the fridge a few hours to make sure your cake is hard enough. You can save your chocolate, put some shaved chocolate around your cake when you'll be able to take it off the dish. After one or two hours, you can unmold your cake. And you will obtain this kind of thing. It's not an obligation, but to decorate a little bit more, you can add some shaved chocolate uh, around your cake. And here is the Black Forest. You know now how to make it. I hope you will enjoy that recipe and I'll see you later for a new video on Bouche Bouche. Bye bye.